If you had to put the seven sacraments into chronological order, what would be first? The answer is baptism. This not only makes us adopted children of God and heirs to heaven, but also initiates us into the Catholic Church and grants us access to the rest of the sacraments. Like all sacraments, baptism has three elements that give it its unique character, matter, form, and minister. The matter, the physical sign, is water. Nothing can live without water. Similarly, our souls need the water of baptism to reach eternal life. This water is also a sign of the cleansing of our souls in God's mercy and grace. Any water will do for the sacrament, whether it is holy water or even just bottled water. The form here is quite simple. The words, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit are spoken while the recipient is in contact with the water. The minister is normally a deacon, priest, or bishop. This does not have to be the case, however. In times of emergency, anyone can baptize. Now imagine you witness a car accident. Someone's been seriously injured and an ambulance is on its way. If this person is still conscious but gravely wounded, a good question to ask is whether or not they've been baptized. If the answer is no, then with their permission, you may baptize them. So that's how baptism is performed, but why do we need it? Is it necessary? Baptism is absolutely necessary to enter into eternal life, as it allows us entrance into the Catholic Church by washing away original sin. God, however, is not bound by the sacraments, and can save through other means. These extraordinary means that God saves are called baptism of blood and baptism of desire. Baptism of blood occurs when a person who has not been baptized by water is martyred for their faith in Jesus Christ. Baptism of desire is when a person, through no fault of their own, has never heard of Jesus Christ or his message. God can then decide to dispense his grace to that person, judging by their actions if they would have wished for baptism had they known of its importance. So that's baptism, entrance to the church. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Catholic videos, make sure to hit subscribe. And until next time, remember that theology does matter.